everyone. Welcome to another Clean Machine Live. My name is Jeff Palmer. I'm the CEO and founder of Clean Machine. Uh, this video is for informational and educational purposes only and is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. So this is a big title. Sleep is real important but maybe not for the reasons you think it is. Um, sleep can uh, lower our immune system. It can be detrimental for lots of different reasons, uh, lower our fertility, lower our testosterone levels, uh, which may affect our ability to recuperate, re recuperate <laughs> and our ability to actually build muscle. But now a new study actually shows one of the potential pathways of how we can lose muscle if we lose sleep. So this is pretty interesting. I thought it was pretty interesting. It's, it's a new study, came out 2022, and I'm gonna go ahead and put it up on the screen here because it was even surprising to me a little bit, um, the, the pathway uh, that I hadn't thought about because I think more about direct pathways, but this is actually an indirect pathway. So here it is on your screen. I always put the video and the link so that you can um, copy and paste or view the study yourself. So the study's title is Gut Microbiome Changes Due to Sleep Deprivation in Older Adults, Older and Younger Individuals, a case for sarcopenia. Now, this is really interesting. Sarcopenia is the word for sarco, meaning muscle, and penia, meaning loss. So muscle loss is what sarcopenia is. Now, it's generally, sarcopenia is called age-related muscle loss. But I, I think it has less to do with chronological age and more about how long we have been doing lack of exercise or on a poor diet. Because here I am at the nice ripe old age of 60 and I have no muscle loss whatsoever. Actually, I actually carrying more muscle now than I did when I was in my 30s. So age-related muscle loss may be a misnomer. Um, but there are things that we do throughout our lifespan that can compound. And if we don't make positive changes to those, do have a much more dramatic effect as we get older because we've do, been doing those negative behaviors, poor diet, lack of exercise, too much stress, not enough sleep. Now, so how does sleep affect muscle loss? Well, this is pretty interesting. Now, they did show in this study, because they were looking at both older and younger people, uh, younger than 50 and older than 50 years of age. Those in the the 50 age, uh, 50 or older had a very pronounced and significant amount of muscle loss with sleep deprivation. So getting lack of sleep showed a more pronounced effect in those that were uh, over the age of 50. So maybe important, more important. And there may be adaptive responses for that that are much more vital for people who are younger or like I said with the sarcopenia, those who haven't been damaging their body as significantly, which is uh, poor diet, poor exercise, poor sleep patterns, and too much stress. All of those can have a compounding effect over time, so it's not just chronological age that's causing it, it's the effect of those negative behaviors over time. But how does the microbiome come into play? Well, this is really interesting because we know that a diet significantly can shift our microbiome diversity. Diversity means how much different population. So we have roughly around 40 trillion micro, uh, microbes uh, living in our gut. And these are yeast, bacteria, virus, even positive viruses. I know we don't think of viruses as being positive, but we actually have beneficial viruses that live in our uh, digestive tract that actually kill pathogenic bacteria, and they actually protect us. So we now call them our virome, like microbiome, is on microbes, but virome is specifically to beneficial viruses that inhabit our gut and actually can protect us, uh, can protect us from that. So 
This balance and diversity is really important. The more diverse, the more beneficial types of bacteria can do different positive effects on us. When we shrink the diversity, we have less bacteria, less of the positive bacteria, and more of the negative or pathogenic bacteria. So when you shrink the good guys, the big guys have more room to proliferate. And these pathogenic bacteria is the one that can cause cancer, uh, lead to uh, unhealthy traits, uh, digestive disorders, lots of disease states can initiate in this pathogenic bacteria um, level in our guts. So we want more of the good guys and we want to feed the good guys. Well, those good guys actually eat fiber. This is why a plant-based diet has been shown to improve the diversity of our good guys, the good bacteria, and reduce the amount of pathogenic bacteria because we crowd them out. If there's too many good guys there, the bad guys don't have enough to eat or feed on and will die out. And this is what you want. So you want to feed the good guys, let the bad guys starve to death or die out or be killed by our other protective mechanisms in the gut. Now, what happens when you exercise? Well, when you exercise, you actually also increase those positive bacteria. We produce lactic acid. That lactic acid can be dumped right into the gut. And along with other mechanisms at play, these can feed and populate and stimulate the growth of those positive good bacteria in our gut. So we know exercise increases it, and we know plant-based foods increases the diversity. And that's why I strongly suggest a plant-based diet, increasing your body's ability to take in nutrients because you have much greater diversity of the bacteria in your gut, the good guys, lower pro-inflammatory bad bacteria. So the good guys produce butyrates, which are anti-inflammatory. These are short chain fatty acids. They feed on the bacteria and then they poop out good metabolites that we use in our body. Yep, we are using <laughs> our own bacteria's poop to actually uh, improve our immune system, uh, to reduce inflammation, uh, to protect our cells and to increase uh, healthy permeability. So the nutrients get in and the bad bacteria don't get in, also no, known as leaky gut syndrome. Okay, so we know that exercise improves that uh, microbiome diversity of, and increases the good guys. We know that um, a plant-based diet does that as well. And we want to shrink the bad guys because they're pro-inflammatory. They cause inflammatory states, which can lead to a whole host. Actually, most of the diseases from arthritis to diabetes to cardiovascular disease uh, to inflammatory bowel disease, IPS, these are all pro-inflammatory states. And the more we're creating inflammation in our system or inflammatory markers, then the more we're creating an environment for those disease states to really take hold and accelerate. So we want to reduce the inflammatory response in our gut by reducing those negative bacteria by increasing the good guys by feeding them plants and exercise. But this is interesting where sleep comes in. So they did this study. It was uh, published by the Oxford University Press, and it was published in the journal called Sleep. And obviously, it was about sleep and how sleep affects our microbiome and how that may potentially affect sarcopenia, which is muscle loss. So it was a meta-analysis of 11 different qualified studies. What they found was, I'm gonna quote directly from the study, with poor sleep, shifts in gut microbial composition, that's the microbiome diversity, commonly manifest, which could mediate pro-inflammatory state between sleep disturbances and sarcopenia. So let me translate that for you. So when you get not enough sleep, it disturbs our microbiome. Our microbiome works best when we're asleep. And if they don't have their rest, they can actually die off and allow more room for pathogenic or pro-inflammatory bacteria to populate and bloom. And when they do that, they start sending pro-inflammatory markers and, and signals and metabolites into our system and create a pro-inflammatory state inside of our bodies. 
this pro-inflammatory state can be destructive or catabolic, meaning tearing down or breaking down muscle tissue. And this could lead to sarcopenia. And that is exactly what they are postulating in this study. Now, it's interesting. I'll go on and do another direct quote. And I'll actually go ahead and, and put this in the links because it'll come full circle for what I'm talking about. I'll put this in the comment section. Uh, so if you're watching this later and if you're watching it live, you can see it right here on the screen. In older adults, shorter sleep duration is associated with an increase of pro-inflammatory bacteria. So if you're not getting enough sleep, you're not actually helping out your good guys. And it's affecting your bad guy population to populate even more and produce pro-inflammatory responses. So whereas increasing sleep quality, getting good rest, good night's sleep, this is positively associated with an increase of beneficial bacteria, the good guys. Now they even got it down to finding out the exact bacteria that were the good guys that were mediating some of this pro-inflammatory response. And interestingly enough, those two bacteria, and I'm not going to even attempt to pronounce their names because I'll probably butcher them, but you can see them right there, the last two words in the study, those two bacteria are actually butyrate bacteria. So butyrate comes from the digestion of fiber. Fiber is only found in plants. So it's real easy to connect the dots. When you get a good night's sleep, you eat lots of plant fiber and you exercise, you are creating an anti-inflammatory state that can help you preserve muscle. You know, when people see, hey, dude, how do you get 17 inch arms at 60 years of age without doing any drugs? Everybody says they're convinced that I'm doing testosterone replacement or HRT, hormone replacement therapy. I'm not, I would never touch that crap. I don't want that stuff in my body ever, ever. Um, so the reason why I can do this is because I'm keeping myself anti-inflammatory with positive exercise, with a whole food plant-based diet. That's how I can preserve this muscle and the strength. I'm benching for, I'm, oh, hey, let me clarify, on the machine uh, decline press, I am benching five 45 pound plates on each side. That's 450 pounds. That's more than I could do in my 30s. Now, why could I build on the strength? Now, I've been working out for 20 years, so don't try this at home. <laughs> um, I, I don't want you to hurt yourself, but that's something that I could do by building up gradually and why I could build and even to the point of being 60 years old and doing 450 pound bench presses, that's a, a result of these things. Getting a great night's sleep. I sleep like a rock every night. I've never, Thank God, I've never really had trouble sleeping. Uh, it's because I exercise. And when I exercise, I feel total body tiredness. I eat really well. I eat the full satiation. That gets me tired too. And I fall asleep and I dream my butt off and I remember all my dreams in the morning and life is good. Um, I realize there are some people out there that do have trouble sleeping. Now, I created a supplement called Cell Block 80. Cell Block 80 has within it an amazing adaptogen called ashwagandha. Ashwagandha is known. There's multiple human studies out there showing it improving sleep, time of sleep, quality of sleep, restful sleep. Studies are abundant out there. I won't even bother putting up because there's a ton of them. You can just Google search it or PubMed search it, and you'll see all these studies about ashwagandha. We use the top uh, selling ashwagandha brand, the most researched ashwagandha in this category called KSM 66. I only use the best in my products. I want the best for you. I want the best for me. It's what I use. Um, so yes, getting a good night's sleep, there are herbs that can help tremendously. So uh, taking magnesium may be also helpful for people to get the muscles to relax but taking ashwagandha can help that. Now, cell block 80, it not only has the ashwagandha for um, helping sleep, 
because that's important for hormone levels as well, but also increases muscle strength, increases testosterone levels, but it safely inhibits that testosterone from turning to DHT or estrogen. So you're not getting those negative side effects that you get from overloading the body with testosterone. Also makes it safe and usable by women. Actually about 40% of all of our purchases go to women for cell block 80, simply because it actually blocks that DHT. Some people think that testosterone is going to make you manly, and that's not how it works. It doesn't do that. Testosterone is what they call an anabolic hormone. Anabolic means it increases muscle growth and strength. And then there is androgenic. Andro meaning male, genic like genesis mean change, change to male. DHT is the masculinizing form. You don't, once we are uh, past puberty, Males don't really need excess DHT and females don't want DHT, even though some women can have it. There's even a uh, advanced state called hirsutism that where women are producing too much DHT and can get deepening of the voice and chin and facial hair and man hands and things like that. So by inhibiting that DHT, it protects men and prostate. It protects men so I can still have my hair at 60. Uh, it protects skin for acne, which many men uh, can get by using hormones. Um, and it protects women from masculinization. So it's an optimized form so that you can get the benefits without the negative side effects, but also get that sleep that you need so that you can protect your muscle, not lose the gains that you train hard for. So also the DM33 and the cell block 80, uh, because I would never put out a testosterone product uh, because it can negatively impact prostate. This has the cactus flower in it, DM33 shown in two uh, clinical trials in humans to reduce prostate issues up to 80%. So fantastic product, get that restful sleep, get healthy, optimal hormone levels without the negative side effects or imbalances that can re result in negative side effects and get you that restful sleep that can help protect that muscle, especially if you combine it with a whole food plant-based diet, good exercise, and a good night's rest. I hope you all are getting good night's sleep. If you're not, check into it and look into the products that are out there. I don't need to purchase our products, but I'd be glad to do it. It's why I developed it. It's the very first product I ever made as I was so excited to find something that could actually help me as an over 50 person back then and now over 60, still maintain my gains, stay strong, stay healthy. But now we see this whole uh, exercise, plant-based diet, and healthy sleep all contributing to a healthy microbiome and that healthy microbiome helping us maintain our level of fitness and health even at the advanced ages of over 60. So this is how I can do this without the use of drugs and still maintain my gains and strength and health and vitality at my age. That's what I want for you. That's why I do what I do. I do this so that you can enjoy some of these benefits while I'm here alive on this planet. I'm gonna keep telling you about the benefits of these amazing plants out there and I'll put them in products so that you can have them more accessible and use them to your advantage if you so choose. Thank you for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up, give it a like if you do. And um, you can check out more information about Cell Block 80 on our website, Clean Machine Online. You can check out this video and all of our videos uh, after the live cast on uh, YouTube at Clean Machine Online. Join up for our email list if you want to know about when our events are going to be like our World Vegan Bodybuilding Championship. Why don't I just go ahead and pull a picture of that up about, uh, right here. There we go. The World Vegan Bodybuilding Ch Championship. The first and only all vegan, natural, drug-free tested bodybuilding championship in the world. It's coming up Saturday, April 15th of this year, 2023, at the Broward Convention Center in beautiful Fort Lauderdale Beach, Florida. And it's brought to you by Cleaning Machine, of course. 
SoFlow Vegans, and the NGA. This is an NGA sanctioned event. I hope you can turn out for the event. It's not going to be just about bodybuilding. We'll have all kinds of exercise, whether it be Pilates or yoga or uh, just running, biking, swimming, anything you do to keep fit. We're out there applauding. We'll have some of the top doctors. Chef Babette will be there with us. Um, we're really excited about this event and hope you can make it out there. If not, you could catch our live feed too. So you can catch that live feed. We'll have more information. You can go to www.vhfexpo. That's Vegan Health and Fitness Expo, vhfexpo.com. Or you can go to our Facebook page at World Vegan Bodybuilding Championship. Find out more about who's competing, who our new judges are, five all-star judges, vegans, natural, all of them, everybody. Or be a vendor, a sponsor, an ambassador, and help us build interest in this show and make it a, an amazing, epic event. I hope to see you there. If not, you can catch it on the live stream. You'll find more information that at www.vhfexpo.com. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll be back again next Thursday. See you soon.